Joseph Kuro Show. Today is Wednesday, October 20, 2021. Beautiful day here, as we always just suggest. I suggest is the day. Yeah. My fine part, we always know, it's happening here, the way it's ought to be, a beautiful day. So, we have to talk about uh, we'll be won't be long and I won't be coming out. I won't be long here. So, yes, it is. Um, last night was our NBA season opening. The, the Butts beat the Nets and the Wolves beat the Lakers. And then we got more coming at the same for real. It's gonna be an it's gonna be an amazing NBA season. Yes. I got a lot of friends, I got a lot that um have we wanna hang out with. So you know I that's what happens. And let's go to the NBA Falls, shall we? Yes. The Los Angeles Lakers have walked into the first opening season home game against the Wolves last night. And not looking good. They lost one game in the season. The first loss in the season. Now LeBron James, Anthony Davis, and Russell Westbrook failed their first real test together at 121 the 114 loss to the Golden State Warriors on opening night, but they found some common ground. All three of them have now lost they now lost uh, in their Lakers Steve, James Gens the Portland Trail Blazers in 2018, Davis against the LA Clippers in 2019, and Westbrook against the Bulls on Tuesday. While James 34 points, 11 rebounds, 5 assists, and Davis 33 points, 11 rebounds, and 2 blocks, outperforming Westbrook and had 10 worst plus minutes, minutes, and minutes, 23 and 35 minutes. And finishing with eight points on four for 13 shooting and four turnovers. The biggest impact might have come in a post game locker room, zipping her down new teammate. I told her was to go home and watch the economy, Gene said. Do something that can't put a smile on his face. He's, he's so hard on himself. I told him, don't be so hard on yourself. It's one game. It was similar to a peak talk games. Delta Davis, when their first game together in Los Angeles, also didn't go their way. My first time, I sat next to LB. He looked at me and he said, You're fine. This is game one. Davis, we call. He's laughing and he's joking on the phone. And I'm like, Why am I, why am I upset then? And I kind of just went with the flow. It's the same thing with Russ, and I told him the same thing, I'm the same way you are. We said some things to him, and he smiled and things like that, so I set him to be better in the game Friday. If Vesper broke out and ground in the locker room, it was gone by the time he reached in the middle of the room for his post-game interviews. We talked was all... We talked was all Westbrook will say about the conversation with Davis and James. He entered in Miller sessions last less than three minutes and as he keep his answers as brief as possible. James, who has often said that experiences is the grill teaser, was hopeful that Westbrook would gain learn some perspective from the order. I just don't want him to be uh, so hard on himself. Jane said, that was the one thing that I hoped to get good through to him. Don't be so hard on himself. Go home and you're going to be there. Three babies. You 
go home, go home, and you're going to see three babies that he has that might be asleep. But they put a smile on his face. He has a beautiful wife and family. So at the end of the day, you go home and you're really like, okay, that was not that bad. It's really not that bad. Lakers coach Frank Lodo acknowledges that the tricky spot Westbrook finds himself in. Him more than anybody, it's going to be an adjustment period, Fargo said. He's coming into our court and our, our system. He's the guy, and he's got to find to his way. He's got to find his way. It's difficult when you lose to being that guy who has the ball most nights to be able to play off of others like Brian and AD. So it's just a little bit different for him. He's going to be a great for us, but it's going to be an adjustment period. While Westbrook loves to grow within the group, James is older than him to be the player he was before he came to Los Angeles. An umbrella, confident, nine-time All-Star, a Liberty, and a former league MVP. It's challenging to go into a new system and trying to fit in, but also bring what you bring to the table at a high level to fit out as well, James said. If there's three guys on the team, on this team, should, that shouldn't be worried about not fitting in, hmm. it's probably in myself. AD and Ross, obviously, we're going to go do whatever it takes to help the team win. But for us, there are three. We need to fit out as well. Both James and Davis put the blame on first game Jules for Westbrook. With Davis relating to Westbrook playing on a bigger stage than he has been used to when you can't hear the lights are brighter, Davis said, and James knowing what it's like to go back home to play. There probably was just a lot going through my his mind. Being a kid from LA and watching the Lakers grow it up. Mm. Okay, let's go back. So it's just a little bit different for him. It's going to be great for us, but it's going to be an adjustment period. Now, there will probably was just a lot going through his mind, being a kid from L.A. and watching the Lakers growing up, and then however many years down the road, and now you're putting on a Laker uniform, and you stepping into the same percent, Gene said. Westbrook, still sweating on the outcome while speaking to reporters, took ownership on the chance ahead for him and his team as they tried to come together to realize that championship goal. I just got to figure it out, he said. That's all. So what what they trying to do since they lost to the Wolves last night, it's a, uh, it's a way that has me and has has me the feeling. But they get through, they'll get when they get through this, they get through it for well. And that's the most part. They have to get through it for well. And that's for sure. They have to get through it. That's what that's what it's all about. That's what it is. But now it is what it is. And now they go to the next game. And they'll get to win more games. It's that simple. Okay. What about the cinema opening last night? The Milwaukee Bucks had their first home game opener against the Brooklyn Nets. Won the game last night in a great old-fashioned way. Uh, Kenny Cooper, who had lots and he had a he had a tremendous win. The defender can't beat the Nets. Never looked back last night. The boy felt very good for him. And the Bucks. So, the thing is, the, 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 they never they never lost their first game last night. They went on to win. And they went on to win big. It was absolutely unbelievable when they had a game like this. And that's for sure.
Now, we talk now. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I talk about for real, and that's what this price is set. It all comes together when it comes to basketball. And yet, you never know who had to find out, and that's what happened. So, they won the game last night against the Nets. Uh, Kenny Pupo did so well. And yep, it is what it is. <laughs> okay. Now, nine takeaways from the NBA opening night. Yes, it is. It's just like this in Oakland. Now, let's talk about Fair Deputy City Assistant suspend Ben Simmons for that first, that first season opener at the spread in practice. Oh my goodness. Doc Wilkins had thrown him under the bus. For reason, for sure, they never, ever, never, ever come out. It would never come out as practice. Okay, it never come out as practice. And here's the reason now. In the wake of the Philadelphia Saturday Sisters suspending Ben Simmons for Dallas season over the game in New Orleans on Wednesday night, superstar singer Joy Imbola said he has led to speak to Simmons and declared several times that it isn't his job to babysit anyone. I'm trying to win. And the bus said after Simmons had been tossing from Tuesday's practice by Saturday's sisters coach Doc Wibbles and to win. And you had to have that. You had to have that relationship with your teammates. And do you, and do you have to have that relationship with all my teammates? But at the end of the day, our job is not to babysit in somebody. We get paid to produce on the court. Go out, play hard, win some games. That's what we get paid for. We don't get paid to come out here and try to babysit somebody. So that's not our job. And I'm, and I'm sure my teammates felt that way. We really focus on just winning and playing as a team. They said that the sisters announced late in Tuesday's practice that Simmons has been suspended one game from contact determination to the team. As suspension held sore for the opening game Wednesday against the Pelicans, since has been thrown out of the practice by Wibbles after he decided several times to serve in for the drill. Sources told ESPN's Adam Wuskler, I thought just he was a district talk today. Wibbles said Tuesday at the practice, I didn't think he wanted, I didn't think he wanted to do what well, everybody else was doing. It was early. It was a big deal. I was told, I just told him he should leave. We went on with practice. The set of sisters have filed fine Simmons $1.4 million for his assets from full postseason games. $360,000 each. And double enormous team fine for mispractice, on court workouts and meetings, social store and just gatherings. Simmons hasn't earned any money since returning to the team on October 11. By being suspended for Wednesday's game, Simmons will lose roughly another $227,000. Simmons relates to physicality and melting engaged with his sisters since his return has been a coastal thing. So to tell West Georgia, I mean today, no. Rivers said with a smile, but asking if he thinks Simmons wants to be there. We told him to go home, but hopefully at some point, yeah, I do. Tuesday felt like a bell boiling point for the situation that's been simmering for several months. 
Wednesday will be four months today of Game 7 of the Eastern Conference semifinals against the Atlanta Hawks. The game semi pairs up by an open dunk that would tie the game with less than four minutes left, and the sisters went on to lose and see their season continue in. Well, that was about a couple of months ago. <clears throat> a short time ago, Simmons asked a few, a few months ago, a few months ago, sorry. A short time ago, Simmons asked for the trade, and he then held out the first two weeks of training camp in an attempt to force the city sisters to make a deal. Instead, he reported into the team last week, and after going through several days we into a protocols, Simmons practiced with the team Sunday and Monday before being tossed from Tuesday's practice. Since returning to the team, Simmons has not spoke to the mirror, and he hasn't said anything publicly since the Game 7 loss that has left Rivers and his teammates to answer questions about the situation for him. In Burner and Rivers both tried to spin the situation by saying the rest of the team is focused and engaged. But in Burner, in Burner Carson, couldn't handle his frustrations with the fact this situation has gone around losing as it has. At this point, I don't care about the man, and Bola said, with Francis to Simmons, he doesn't want him, he does whatever he wants, that's not my job, that's the front office job. I am focused, I only focus on trying to make the team better. Win some games, play hard every night, try to lead the guys we have here, and I'm, I'm sure they'll feel the same way because our Chris Miller has been in sight despite everything that's been happening in the past few months. So, like I said, I don't really care. Now, where was Meanwhile, intending to strike and cancel out in turn when asking if Simmons will be back on the court the next time, Freddie definitely practiced possibly as soon as Thursday on old Friday morning, held the team's home opening against the Brooklyn Nets. Rivers said, We're going to accept this. Yes. And when asking what he should do with a player that has shown he doesn't want to be part of the team, Rivers said he got, doesn't change his job descriptors. Every day, every single morning. I'm going to give Ben a chance to join the team and be the and be part of the team, Rivers said. He's on the contract to be a part of the team, and that's not going to change. Sometimes it happens quick and guys just join back in. And sometimes it doesn't. I've been in both situations and I'm fine with that. My job as a coach is to keep trying to get guys to buy in, to be in, and unfortunately this is tough, this situation, but that's my job. I'm not going to stop my job. What's also clear, though, is that this situation is going away in a time soon. Philly definitely has remained satisfied, satisfied in the, its belief that it will only Trey Simmons is a deal that allows the team to remain the championship container is it believes it is with Simmons. Until such a deal minimalizing the, the Sandy sisters will set Simmons who has four years remaining on his contract to be part of the team. Sources said Rivers have made it clear since Simmons reported back to the team last week that he will not play until he showed engagements and possibly energy and that those factors are being investigated as much as his conditioning. Now the city the sisters are off to New Orleans for Wednesday's game, well, at least for one day, there wouldn't be a possibility of Simmons returning to the court. But it doesn't remove it from being a story in in Bar about in Bell and his teammates will have to get answering questions about. I get paid to deliver, and that's to win games, and that's what the ultimate goal is to win champ a championship. Mbola said, but, like I always said, I can't do it alone. I need these guys. The guys that are here are willing to help me. I am willing to help them, and we're going 
to continue and to do it together. Yep. That's all we have to say. Now tonight, the Knicks are playing the Celtics, and I hope the Knicks will win. That's all I have to say for now. This is Charles Akura, and we'll see you tomorrow. Peace out. Bye-bye.